do you have the experience of knowing that there are certain things that are worth doing that would be good for you to do, but you have a really hard time doing them? Or having some kind of goal, but just feeling like giving up and not even trying anymore? If that's happening, there is a good chance that there's a very specific system and network and architecture of the brain that's lighting up. And this is a system that we have in common with other species as well. It's called the habenula. And it was discovered in the 1800s, but not really understood until much more recently. And now there's a lot of more research on it. And it has a lot to do with this aspect of us that flags when we are perceiving we are not doing well or we're failing at something. And this system, the structure called the habenula, actually shuts us down completely. It affects dopamine and serotonin levels and gets us to stop feeling motivated to keep doing what we were doing. It's something that, for example, if there were zebrafish and there was a fight for male dominance, this structure would start to activate in the zebrafish that was losing the battle. It's something to help protect us in a certain way from an evolutionary standpoint that, for example, in that fight for dominance, if that zebrafish is not winning, it should stop fighting in order to save its life in that moment. But unfortunately, the longer term success of that zebrafish is also in jeopardy. What's interesting with humans is that we may not be in that kind of life-threatening type of competition or battle, but the structure may actually activate in very similar ways where we completely shut down and we stop feeling motivated to keep going and making progress towards something. So the one way that we can get out of this is to do something what Dr. Kyra Bobinet calls neutralizing failure. And this is very tied to something else she has discovered in her research that really helps kind of soften and attenuate the habenula. It's called the iterative mindset. So what this means is that when we perceive we're not doing well at something, instead of looking at it as a failure and what failure really is inside in terms of the concept of the, or the logic model of what failure is, is it represents the end of something. So a true failure is that something literally physiologically um, cannot keep going. But the truth is with most things in our life, because we're complex dynamic organisms, most things are just iterations. So there is no actual end to anything. It's a new configuration, there's new inputs. So when we are going down and we're heading towards a goal and we're doing stuff towards it and it feels like we're not achieving it or we're not making success, what she has found in her research and what helps soften the activity of the habenula is the iterative mindset, meaning that a person will continue to just take in that information, experiment and try modifications, adjustments, various different pathways forward instead of seeing something as a failure and the end and that they should give up on it. So give that a try. Think of something in your life where you feel like you're not doing well at it, you're not progressing, and take a look at how that could potentially be information that is actually part of an iteration. So what, whatever stage you're at in your pursuit of your goals, in pursuit of healthy lifestyle, whatever it is, what is the thing that is in front of you now that is simply an iteration that you can find new pathways about, make small adjustments, experiment, and truly act like a scientist in this scenario to see what kinds of little adjustments you can make to keep iterating and keep moving forward. That is the thing that really sets people apart in the research when it comes to habenula activation and the people that understand how to do things they know are good for them and to keep going even when they feel like they're not making a lot of progress. They keep iterating, experimenting, adjusting, and they understand that failure is not really a thing because there is no actual end to the process. It's always an iteration. It's always a new vantage point with new information that we can experiment with. So if you'd like to hear more about this, it's a really fascinating um, area of the brain that is has an explosion of research behind it. And I go really in depth into this with Dr. Kyra Bobinet, one of the experts on this, in the Mindset Neuroscience podcast, season four, episode five. So if you'd like to check that out, that's at stephaniefaye.com slash podcast, or you can check it out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts under Mindset Neuroscience. So hopefully something in there helped and let me know in the comments below.
Thanks.